look at all this white space I have created just so I can put German words there for you. Welcome. Willkommen. Today we're talking about false friends, as my English teacher used to call them. Falsche Freunde. I don't know if that is a thing, but I like the word. The first and famous one would be sensibel. I was told that sensible, as in being a sensible person, means you're reasonable or something. I avoid that word like a plague because I still get confused after like 20 years of speaking English. But sensibel in German means you are very perceptive, tender, a little snowflake. Ein sensibelchen. It's not a positive thing. I mean, unless you're talking about some detection mechanism in engineering, you want that to be sensibel. A synonym of sensibel is empfindlich. So I believe the translation of that would be sensitive. However, sensitive also exists in German as the word sensitiv. Sensitiv is not really used in everyday language all the time, but you will read it a lot on toothbrush packaging, like... Ural B sensitiv. This is probably going to be in English. But sensitiv, really, the only thing I can think of is toothbrushes or, or toothpaste. Sensodyne, sensodyne. Für empfindliche Zähne. Yeah, sensitiv. Definitely not used to describe people. Next, aktuell has nothing to do with actually. Eine aktuelle Schlagzeile, a current headline, a current affair is something that would be aktuell. And on websites, you often find the section aktuelles, as in news on this website, updates, current affairs. Brav, a word to describe children who are well-behaved. Brav is the opposite of frech, naughty. Ein braves Kind. Ein freches Kind. But you could also use it to, I don't know, mock your body. Braver Junge. If your, your good friend did something that you wanted them to do and you're like, oh, you finally got it, you little dummy. But like, in good fun, not like in a mean way. Don't do that. Anyway, what does brave translate to in German? Brave, as in courageous, would be mutig. Mutig, however, is not the same as mighty, even if it sounds a little bit like that. Mighty is mächtig, powerful. Now a tricky one, lustig. Lustig comes from Lust. Die Lust, the desire. So you can lust for something, you can desire something. That means darauf Lust haben. Ich habe Lust, am Wochenende ins Kino zu gehen. I would really like to go to the movies on the weekend. But Lust also exists in a sexual context, just like in the English language. However, it is very normal to use it to express that you really want to do something. Hast du Lust, dich am Freitag mit mir zu treffen? Da habe ich keine Lust drauf. Ich habe Lust auf was Deftiges, nichts Süßes. Lustig, however, is funny. Das ist lustig. A joke can be lustig. A clumsy little cat can look lustig. If you are laughing at something or making fun of someone, that's lustig for you, not usually for the other person. But it can be. It does not have a negative connotation. It's more neutral. But you can do something that is called sich lustig machen über etwas. Making fun of something or someone. Ich mache mich darüber lustig. Mach dich nicht darüber lustig. Das ist nicht lustig. Or das ist nicht komisch. Not for the person you're making fun of anyway. Oh, this one is interesting. Now, what do you think of when you hear the word prägnant? Prägnant? Nothing to do with pregnant. It's more like succinct, prominent, outstanding. The most common way to use this word is to describe how someone is saying something. The way you word something can be pregnant. Your pronunciation can be pregnant. How you emphasize something can be pregnant. If you, by the way you word something, make it understandable, tangible, precise and concrete, that makes the way you talk pregnant. If you talk in a way that is less redundant and more specific, that's pregnant. Schon means already, has nothing to do with soon. However, since it is a temporal expression, of course, those words are probably related. Schon, soon. Soon, however, translates to bald, which has nothing to do with bald. Der Zug kommt bald an. Unless it's the Deutsche Bahn, then probably the train is never coming. Leicht can be light, as in lightweight, but it can also mean easy. Sport fällt mir leichter als Mathe. Das ist leicht. 
Es ist überhaupt nicht schwer. That's easy. It's not difficult at all. Fast means almost. Has nothing to do with fast. But too fast is actually fasten. Dick means thick or chubby and has nothing to do with whatever you have or have not in your pants. Schlimm is bad. Something bad happened to me. Etwas Schlimmes ist passiert. Das ist schlimm. Schlimm. Übel. Not slim. Slim translates to dünn or schlank. Scharf can be sharp if you're talking about a corner or shape, but usually scharf refers to spicy or hot. Das Essen ist ganz schön scharf. Das ist mir zu scharf. Seltsam means strange or weird. Not seldom. That's selten. Now one that is a little bit more nuanced. Stupid is not stupide. Stupide is a different kind of dumb. I mean, people use words differently. And that's completely okay. But from its origin, stupide comes from stupor. As in describing a very bad mental state, sitting around, staring at the wall, not being well, being numb, almost catatonic. So, stupide, in the meaning of dumb, which it has today, is a harsher version of dumb. A good synonym for stupide would be hohl, hollow, empty, meaningless and deeply idiotic. So, if you really want to insult somebody, tell them their actions are stupide. Also, you can describe a person as dumm, but you would not really say der Typ ist komplett stupide. But you would describe an action as stupide or a rule as stupide. Das ist dämlich, das ist stupide, das ist hohl. Der Typ ist ein Trottel, der Typ ist ein Idiot. Der Typ ist dumm. I'm probably being way too nitpicky here, but would I be German if I wouldn't be? Oh no, this is also one from my English teacher. Kurios. It's not the same as curious. Curious is neugierig. If you're being curious, you want to find out about something. But if something is kurios, ein kurioser Umstand, das ist kurios, das ist seltsam, then it's strange, out of the ordinary, appearing differently and just not very common. Looks interesting, yet a little bit odd. That's it. Enough German for today. Bye-bye.